Sorry, everyone. I hit the go live button and I didn't realize I was still <laughs> sitting in the back. <laughs> so uh, what's up, everyone? Thank you so much for being here and being early. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, today, I am following up with Cadmium Red Light. And I realized I spelled Cadmium wrong again. Oh, my goodness. I must have a brain fart when I was... Uh, making these charts. I was watching Star Trek Peaches, so I was uh, a little distracted. But so yesterday we did uh, cadmium yellow light, and so now today we're doing cadmium red. So I'm just going down in the order of my color palette. So if you see any colors that get repeated, because I have uh, so far done cadmium red, or excuse me, cadmium yellow, cobalt teal, and chronacronome magenta. So I've mixed all of those already so far. So those three will be you know, kind of just a, whatchamacallit, a recap for everyone that's been here. Also, those are uh, still up. I've decided to just say, screw it. I'm leaving those up. Who cares about the algorithm right now, right? Algorithm doesn't care about me right now, so I don't care about it. Although, low-key, I kind of do, but uh, it is what it is. So, first, what we're going to do is go... cat. So, this is the pure cadmium. Now, my lighting is a little bit weird, on here because uh, Peaches is redoing the lighting in this room and so I have like just um, I brought in the lamp yesterday I used my iPhone flashlight so the colors do look a little bit off this is not really what this looks like uh, you know well I mean I guess this is what it looks like in camera but um, if you want to see the pure color you have to look at it in sunlight and so I think what I'll do is uh, I will post images of all these when I'm done up on my Instagram. Or maybe I'll just start doing it today and I'll be a little bit behind. But um, so, but hello, hello. I see Richard Pierce. I saw Neon Wolf was here first. Uh, Patrick T, hello. How are you? How is your shoulder? It still hurts today, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Yesterday it was like excruciating. Today I can actually like move my hand pretty well. Also, I don't know what exactly is going on with my camera the motion looks a little bit off i didn't have this problem the first two times i streamed but yesterday i had the problem and then today again i'm having this weird problem um i also saw in the comments somebody said i should flip uh my webcam i can't do that in my webcam settings i have no idea how and there's no setting for it in my settings so i'm not exactly sure how to do that i would have to literally just finish the video download it and then edit it and in the editor I would have to flip it so that's not something I can do because I'm just doing these live and then leaving them up if there are any of these you've missed go to the playlist section of my channel and it's called mixing colors that's the playlist that it is but uh what's up Ryan what's up Tom what's up Jeremy Burtz what's up Porkins Pastor Flash the Voyager 47 uh Fox Pass T thank you thank you all for being here uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with this. Um, I don't know how to fix it. It wasn't like this the first couple days, and now it's like that. Let me check my internet settings on this computer. Maybe it's like hooking up to the wrong Wi-Fi or something. How is the signal for everyone? Um, for those that don't know, I'm going to go through all of the colors on my color palette and I am going to be, uh, so that way you guys can all see the full one. This is the one from yesterday, just so you guys can get an idea. So this was cadmium yellow light. Now we're doing cadmium red light. And we're going to work our way down through the palette. Uh, that way you guys get a good view of all of the colors that I've mixed so far. Okay, so let's go to uh, my control panel and look at my network. Maybe it's my network. Uh, no, it's connected to the right one, full bars. All right, then I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's this computer, but uh, I don't know. But let's get started. So Peaches needs my help with something. So I'm not going to rush through this, but I am uh, going to try to finish this one today in a timely manner. Not to say that the other ones weren't in a timely manner, but today uh, Peaches does need my help with something. And I have another live stream scheduled up on my main channel, that Star Wars Girl channel. And so busy, busy day today. Busy, busy day. Okay, so let's get this. What did I do last time? So this will be, we're mixing titanium white. 
So there we go, got some pure. It still looks a little bit red to me, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit red. I don't know if anyone else can see that. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I am crazy. Yeah, cause see that, this, whatever, I'm mixing it with red anyway. I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, so this one's gonna be, all right, there we go. So yeah, some people scream. So like, what are you doing? You're dipping your paintbrush directly into the paint. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. I'll clean it later. There we go. But uh, how is everyone's day going so far? Also, I just want to let you guys all know, I really appreciate everyone showing up to these streams. I know that this is still a very small channel, but it is nice to see everyone's uh, everyone's lovely faces here when I do these art streams. You know, this is like my passion, so it's been fun sharing it with all of you guys. And I decided to take a different approach to this channel, and um, I'm going to re-edit some of my videos. But I think the next one I'll release is my, um, well, once I finish it, um, is my plain air paintings. I'm going to go back up to Peaches' parents' house this weekend, so I'm going to film a little bit more so that way you guys can kind of see where it was that I was painting those. Okay. Let's get a better idea. I wanted to be a little bit more interactive and not as much as like, at first I was like, oh, I'm just gonna like music and it relaxing, but I'm like, even I don't like watching those kind of uh, videos, if you know what I mean. Like it's okay for like 30 seconds, but after that it does get a little bit boring and bland. And so I think I said this before yesterday, I really like the channel Nerd Forge and I like how like fun and entertaining and exciting she is. And I think that's why your channel is so popular. And I'm like, gosh, she makes me want to be creative. And I'm like, you know what? If she's inspiring me based on like just watching her energy in the videos, I'm like, I want to do that too. All right, there you go. There's a good transition. So I'm going to try to take the positive things from her formula and put my own spin on it. So, and then I'm going to do some about like the, the framing and everything. So it's going to be like the whole process. Um, uh, but also at the same time, I might need to hire an editor because I'm not good at editing videos. So if I get all the footage and I just tell somebody what I want, maybe they can do a better job of it for me, you know? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going on to cadmium yellow light. So this will just be a recap of the color mixing from yesterday. Since I mixed cadmium uh, yellow was the color for yesterday. And I mixed it with cadmium red as well. So this will be a little, uh, little recap for you guys. Let's see. These are actually pretty like fun and soothing. I haven't done one of these in like a really long time. So it's nice to get to pick up this again. It's been a while, definitely been a while. And I'm glad that you guys seem to enjoy it so much. I was talking with my friend Sav uh, cause we finally got to hang out after like over a year. It felt like forever, but uh, we were just talking about the stuff we used to do and we're like, gosh, I miss just like going to the park and drawing with you. <laughs> it's weird how like much this stuff fucks our life up, you know? Um, having a flashback of art school. Oh, what's up, Steven? What's up, dude? Oh, Steven, I meant to message you, uh, even though I was kind of spamming you today. I'm going to be out of town uh, this weekend, so we might have to reschedule our live stream unless I run to the store and buy a laptop because I, I only have an iPad and you can't you like run a stream yard stream from your iPad. So I'll, I'll, I'll definitely like DM you, but I'm going to be, um, 
out of town, like some family is coming into town. And so we're going to go and see them. It's like Peaches's great aunt. And so he hasn't seen her since she was a kid or since he was a kid. All right, there we go. That's a good transition. But everyone say hi to my friend Steven. Steven and I went uh, to the same college, if you believe that. Yeah, we last time we hung out, we were reminiscing about the hell we went through. Uh, yeah, so for those of you that don't know, I went to school in San Francisco. So I went to Academy of Art University, and somebody tried to use, oh, well, that, that school, everyone, if you just apply and you get accepted. It's like, okay, let me explain something to you. Back during, what, 1930-ish, uh, in the 1930s, there was this one young man that really wanted to paint and get into art school, and he was not accepted in, right? Now, if that young man would have been allowed to go to this art school and paint, World War II and the Holocaust might not have happened. So, when you see an art school that has open submissions to everyone, it's because certain people believe that other certain people shouldn't be denied entrance to an art school because that's part of the thing is like you, you're going to school to learn how to paint or how to draw, right? If you already know how to do it beforehand, you're already an expert at it, what's the point of even going? You're just going to be wasting your money, right? So, the but the the true test is whether you can make it all the way through an art school. So that's the real test on your uh, ability as an artist. Let's see. But Steven is uh, awesome. So Steven focuses more on uh, character design. I hate character design with a burning passion. And so when I see the stuff he does, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks good because I know how hard it is. And I also hate doing it. So I really admire people with his skill because I sure as hell don't enjoy doing it. EBS just applied there. Oh, God. Ethan does not need to go to art school. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Is this? So this is Cobalt Teal, by the way, everyone. I, I realize I forgot to announce that before I started. Okay. Put a little bit more in here. So yeah, this is a pretty ugly, ugly colors. You want like an ugly brown, which I mean, sometimes you need to get this kind of brown for certain things, maybe skin or hair colors, you know. Izzy works. But uh, did you guys, I, I need to, figure this out for Z YouTubes, but did you guys get a notification through YouTube or did you find out that I was streaming because I posted this on Twitter? I want to find out uh, if YouTube is screwing me over or not. Or did you find out like through my YouTube community post, whether on this one or on my uh, Star Wars Girl account or on my Facebook? So how did you find out that I was live streaming right now? Let me know in the comments. YouTube. Okay. So, did you find out through YouTube notification for this channel or did you find out um, YouTube notification through YouTube? Okay, you got a notification. YouTube gave me a note. Oh, that's good. That's so good. That, that makes me happy to hear. All right, so now we just finished Cobalt Teal. So now we're moving on to Cerulean Blue. You got both notifications. Okay, YouTube subscription notification. My YouTube alerts don't work. Gotcha, gotcha. YouTube community post. Okay. Through this channel. Okay. Good. That that makes me so happy that this is actually starting to work. I've noticed I have to set like live streams hours and hours in advance or else people do not get my notifications or it YouTube doesn't alert anyone. Same thing when I post a a video on my main channel, I feel like I have to upload it and wait an hour. So that way YouTube knows to notify everyone. It's really weird. I honestly might just start asking people um, if they want me to just email them directly and like do an email list kind of things. That way people actually get notifications for my videos. But that's like a hassle and I don't want to blow up people's notifications or blow up people's emails, you know. Ryan, you got a notification for the channel. Okay, good. Uh, does she actually paint anything or is this just color mixing? So these streams are dedicated to color mixing. 
once I'm done going through all of the colors in my palette, I'm actually going to start a project where I paint 100 eyes. So I'll do a live stream every day for 100 days, and I'll just paint 100 eyes. I think that's going to be fun. And I was, I was planning on doing like Star Trek, but I was actually going to think what might be fun is if you guys want me to paint your eyes, if you guys all uh, send me pictures of your eyeballs and I'll paint your guys' eyes, that might be a fun little uh, project and I'll live stream it. Or maybe I'll save the, the Star Trek eyes for when I'm like a, a dedicated video. But would you guys be cool with that? Would you guys want me to paint your eyeballs? <laughs> That way, like, just in case if you don't want, like, to send me a picture of your whole face, you just send me, like, a little section, like, a little square, and, uh, and I can paint your eyeballs. Uh, Loki, if anyone has albinism or knows somebody with albinism, I would love to paint, uh, your, their eyes, because I kind of have, like, a weird obsession with albinism, because I think people that, uh, are albino, they have the coolest eyes. Let's see, eyeball selfie. Yeah, I'll, I'll put um, guidelines for how the photo should be taken, but, and I'll post like an email that you guys can send it to. But it's kind of like the eye project. And I think that would be a fun, interactive way. And you guys can like let me know if you guys want it to be, um, like if you want me to tell people who you are or like whatever your username is, and then you guys can see your eyes. But I think that would be a fun way for all of us to, like, interact and stuff. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like that idea or not. I have blue eyes. Don't hate me. No, no, no. That's completely fine if you have blue eyes. I per I think it's just um, when it comes to, uh, you know, certain things, I prefer dark, dark eyes. But, I mean, when it comes to, when it has to do with painting, it really doesn't matter. Uh I think it'll just be cool because everyone is so different. And then when you get people with colored eyes, every single shade is so, so different. Like my mom, she has green eyes, like C green eyes. Like, oh, no, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. It, oh, excuse me. And if you guys don't want to send me like your eye, if like, I don't know if one of your parents wants like a painting of their eye done and they want to watch, uh, I think that would be pretty cool. If you guys are down for it, I'll post a, an email address up there. I'll, I think I'm going to make one called like the eye project just so it's like very specific for people uh, that want to share their eyeball <laughs> with me. That's such a strange sentence. Uh, you know. But so one of the things I was kind of wanting to do is how there's like, you know, Ethan's talking about doing like for the fan fest and having that in Orlando. I was actually thinking of maybe hosting my own art show down here where I live in Orange County and having like an art gallery. And then, you know, if anyone ever wants to come, I'll put all of the eyes up on display as well as my painting. So like one wall will be all of the eyes that I've painted. <laughs> Another wall can be like the Star Wars. Another one will be another one. Okay, so that was Chronacrum Magenta and uh, Cadmium Red. So that's the transition there. Because these are both, you know, pinkish reds, since these are both on the same side of the color wheel, you're not going to see as much. So now we're getting into yellow ochre. This is probably going to be a very ugly orange. Just FYI for everyone. Mmm. But uh, everyone, please smash the like button, please, and thank you. I really appreciate everyone being here. Let's see. You guys are awesome. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. Let's see. It's finally fun to, like, get this channel start, like, the ball rolling for it, you know? You know what I mean? Uh, do the rest of you see a motion blur when she moves? So there's something wrong with this camera. It, I messed with all of my settings. I've never had this problem before, but the past two days there's been like 
something weird going on. I don't know why. I tried fixing it before this stream. It doesn't do it when this is plugged into my other computer, and this didn't do it on this computer the first two times I streamed on here. So I have no idea what's going on. But uh, if anyone is like a expert on this, let me know in the in the comments, I guess. Also, if anyone has a good recommendation on like a 4K camera, I really want to, I mean, I don't know anything about cameras. Honestly, that I probably should have taken like a photography class as an elective in college because I don't know really what I'm doing when it comes to photography. I'm like, did it click? Did the camera click? Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Yay, nay. All right. Well, there we go. That was yellow ochre. We're really punching through this. Check your frame rate. I don't know how to do that. There's no setting. Um, there's no setting. Oh, and if you guys are going to do the the I thing, I'll, um, I'll create an email address before the stream next time, and I'll, I'll post guidelines of how, what kind of photo I need or, like, what kind of um, lighting because it does have to be lit a certain way. But so, yeah, I don't know how to fix the frame rate. Uh, let me go to my, actually, let me see if there's settings on here. Camera, show advanced settings, standard definition, let's see. Oh, no, that's weird. How do you fix the frame rate? Hmm. Let's see. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what to do. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to, I probably shouldn't do this while I'm, uh, let me see, no, yeah, there's not really any way to do that on, uh, any of my settings, so I don't know what I could do, but, uh, I apologize if it is distracting. I'll try to see if Peaches can figure it out for me before I stream tomorrow. Mm. No, there, there is none for that. So um, when I go to my resolution, it says show advanced options. And then it says high definition 720p, standard definition 480p, or low definition 360p. It doesn't give me any option to change the frame rate. So again, I apologize. I know that's kind of irritating for everyone. But so now we are down to alizarin crimson. And this is probably going to be very similar to the chronacrinone magenta. One thing about this paint is it smells terrible, so I'm not, I, I love the color of Lizard and Crimson, but by goodness it smells. The camera speed is a bit slow. See, I don't know how to change that on my settings either, on my webcam settings. There's, I can't find the setting for it. Uh, so again, I apologize to everyone. If I knew how to fix it, I would, I promise. Hey, look at that. Transition makes almost no difference. <laughs> okay, let's try a little bit more. No. It's all so similar. Let's make it a little darker. That one. So yeah, you can barely tell in this one. It is what it is. So this isn't OBS. Um, this is just through my webcam. I'm not running OBS right now. I'm on my old, old, old computer that I first used when I started YouTube. It's been in the the munchkins room and so it's really really hot in my studio during the day and because it's summertime here where I live 
And if I have, uh, like, the fan going, it's impossible to, like, stream or film videos because it's so freaking loud. I need to get a silent fan. I will eventually, but uh, I'm just, I don't know, I'm picky. But um, oh, now I'm on to ultramarine blue, by the way, everyone. But so I was like, oh, I'll live stream this inside in here, and then... Um, I'm going to be actually doing another live stream later tonight on my main channel. And that one I'm going to be talking about, like, He-Man stuff. But um, it'll be cool enough in there for me <laughs> later to stream. I'm not sad when I have to wait for it to cool down because it's so freaking hot. The computer that caught on fire. Yes, the computer that caught on fire. That is the one I'm streaming from right now. <laughs> oh, it's funny you guys remember. Yeah, I, yeah, the other one is uh, in the actual studio. This one's just in the Munchkins room. I was like, you know, it's a nice desk. It works perfectly for this, and I don't have to sit out in the heat. So, oh, look at that. Ugly, ugly, ugly color. I'm so picky when it comes to colors. It's not like my favorite colors. I just always am like, meh. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. Yeah, for those that don't know the story, so I went out to like run errands or something, and I came back and it smelled like burned plastic in my house. I'm like, what the hell is that? And oh shoot. And the little black box of death, which I learned later was called the CPU or something, it caught on fire. And <laughs> I had to replace it, and I, like, did a video, and I, I was, not, like, a, a vid dedicated video on the channel. I was, like, took a picture, and I'm, like, guys, my computer's smoking. What do I do? <laughs> and you all wonderful people helped me. I remember lots of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, like, that was, like, a few years ago. Uh, let's see. Oh, my friends watched every KOTOR vid. Oh, Oh, that's awesome. That's so nice. I hope you guys liked it. So that's ultramarine blue and cadmium red. Not very pretty, but uh, going to be pretty brown, right? So now we're moving on to Viridian. 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 This is a very cool green. It's also pretty transparent. So there's 29 people here. Please smash the like button, please, and thank you. Let's see. Here we go. My computer caught on fire once, but that's because the rest of the house did. Oh no. The PC is one thing that should always buy a trusted brand with. Yeah, one of my friends that, like, fixes computers, he did me, and he's like, this is the one you buy from Amazon. And I was like, oh, thank you. Yeah, I had a lot of help of people walking me through it. I was very appreciative of everyone's help in that situation because that was, like, my worst freaking nightmare. I was like, what is going on? My computer is smoking. I took my video card with it. Oh, no. So red makes browns with blues. Yeah, so whenever you're doing complementary colors, um, they're going to, like, make a muted color when you mix them. So actually red and green are complementary colors, meaning they're on the opposite side of the color palette. So when you mix them it's not very pretty it's not very pretty in my opinion but that's a good way to like know if you want to like if the color is too saturated and you want to mute it a little bit you can just add um you can just add a complementary color there we go all right so there is red and viridian that's ugly ugly brown Oh, the PCU, not the CPU. Thank you. Yeah, power supply unit. Yeah, and I made the mistake of taking it apart, and everyone was like, don't take it apart. You're going to electrocute yourself. 
All right, here we go. Now we're on to burnt umber. So I leave the, lat the darkest colors next to each other. So that would be ivory black and burnt umber. I feel like burnt umber is a really great color. It's very, I feel like some are just, it's misunderstood. You hate the smell of burnt plastic? I hate the smell of burnt plastic too. That was absolute hell. Imagine coming home and like there's smoke coming from your computer. It's like, ah, my life. My life is on that damn thing. It sucks like how much we're tied to our technology. There's this one interview that Elon Musk was doing and like, oh, cyborgs and stuff. Cause he was talking about that like brain stem thing he's using. And it's like, well, we're kind of cyborgs now. Like everyone's kind of glued to their phone. Like a, your, a phone is like an extension of yourself. Right. And I was like, that's a very strange way to think about it, but that's kind of true. In the future, it's just going to be plugged into our brain so we don't have to pull up a phone. It's crazy the way technology is working. Also, I don't know why people got so upset about what's his face going into outer space. I'm like, if I had a billion fucking dollars, I'd go to outer space too. I'd go fly to the moon and I'd start painting the earth from the moon. That'd be great. Did they invite me? No. I got no invite. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not a billionaire, so it makes sense. Uh, let's see. All right, we're on our last uh, last one. So this is ivory black. All right, here we go. All righty. Anna, agree or disagree? Purple is a color. I know it is purple, but when you get yelled enough that purple is not a color, it's violet. Uh, you have to you just kind of go in tune with it. So <sighs> that's a trap you're setting up for me. I'm not going to take the bait for that one. I don't know. Do you guys spell color with a without a U or with a U? There you go. There's a trick for you. Oh, look at that. And like clockwork, we're done. We are done, everyone. So there is the color mixes for cadmium red light. Now let's go through this and I'm going to like, like always, I'm going to have you guys vote. So this is real one. This is titanium white mixed with pure cadmium red. And so that's number one. Number two, we have cadmium yellow light right through here. Number three, we have cobalt teal mixed with cadmium red light. Oh gosh, there's a, oh. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I'll, I'll clean that up after. Um, and then for number four, we have cerulean blue mixed with cadmium red light. And then for number five, we have chronacridone magenta mixed with cadmium red light. We have yellow ochre for number six mixed with cadmium red light. For number seven, we have alizarin crimson mixed with cadmium red light. Number eight, we have ultramarine blue mixed with cadmium red light. Go. And then for number nine, we have Viridian mixed with cadmium red light. And then for 10, we have Burnt Umber mixed with cadmium red light. And for uh, 11, we have Ivory Black mixed with cadmium red light. So which ones do you guys like? Uh, you got like one, two, and eight. All right. Uh, two, two, three, and nine. All right. All right. Uh, fourth one for the win. Let's see number four. So you like cerulean. All right, all right. Uh, let's see three and four. So you like three and four. You like the blues mixed with it. Uh, the eighth one. So you like ultramarine blue mixed with it. Uh, let's see six and seven. And then Porkin says six as well. All right, all right. So six and seven. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, eight from Gabriel. 
Let's see, Shadow War Child likes number five. Uh, 11 looks okay too. Yeah, the black in it. Uh, three and seven. So Cobalt and Alizarin. All right, all right. I think I like number two the best just because uh, I like yellow and I think that's a pretty orange. But uh, to each their own. But so look at just the big difference between, uh, I mean, obviously they're different colors, but this is the one from yesterday. Like you see all the yellows? Now we're at all the reds. Kind of crazy, kind of fun how all this stuff works out, huh? So tomorrow we're going to be doing Cerulean Blue because we already did Cobalt Teal. So tomorrow's palette will be mixed uh, a mix of Cerulean Blue with all the other colors. So we're going to be switching up to the other side of the color palette, which is going to be fun. But um, everyone, thank you so much for being here. I will have an email address made up for tomorrow, and I'll uh, do a little announcement in the beginning of the stream about the types of, if you guys would like me to paint your eyes once this is all done. Um, and I'll have like the kind of, uh, what what is it called? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the word. Um, the Oh, the requirements uh, for like photography. Uh, which, I mean, I think everyone here probably has a smartphone. You can take a picture on your smartphone. But let me just uh, ex give you guys an idea. This is what I'm inspired by. Uh, so this is an artist named Sandro. And so he likes to paint eyes and then, like, do gold leafing around them. So I would do something like this in my style. I don't know if I would do the gold leafing or not. But, uh, and then this is this is what he has up Uh in a gallery right now. So it's just a bunch of eyes. I would paint them smaller. Uh, so my paintings would probably be uh, about like, I don't know, like this big. But uh, if you guys want to see your eye painted, again, you don't have to give me your real name or anything like that. You can use a fake name. You can use whatever name you use on YouTube. And it'll be like, you know, eye painting day one. And so I'll have a playlist of like the eyes. So those will be live streams of me painting eyes. And um, it'll be random how I pick them. Uh, I'll probably pick based on like if I need to teach a certain color that day or if uh, there's like one that the lighting is particularly nice. I'll do something like that. But so in the beginning of the stream tomorrow, I'll have the address there and then we can go and look at that. But I'm not going to start doing that project until I'm done with all of these. Now, let me see how many more do I have left? I think I've done four out of 11. So uh, I think that's a that's a good run. And I might even go in at the end and do like one of just white and one of black. So I'll, I'll think about it. But everyone, uh, oh yeah, just got a notification for that Star Wars girl. Yes, I'm going live on my main channel. I'm going to be talking about, uh, I'm going to be reading some of the reviews for the new Masters of the Universe show. So go over there onto my uh, main channel, that Star Wars girl live. Let me see if I can get a, a link for you guys for that live stream. Uh, if you guys want to go over there and go say hi, <laughs> I'll be jumping over there in a minute. Uh, oh, I don't have a link for it. Um, let me go find it on Twitter real fast. Sorry, everyone. But let me post this in the chat. And uh, I'll see you guys over there in a little bit. But everyone, thank you so much again for being here. I so happy that so many of you guys like these streams. It makes everything, uh, you know, here worth it. Uh, here is the link to my other live stream on my main channel. I'll see you guys over there in a bit. Thank you again so much for watching. Please make sure to smash the like button and then leave me a comment after this live stream is posted as a video. Uh, I really want to know what you guys think. Let me know if you like the eye idea. Let me know uh, what color uh, what number you guys like the best for the mixes. And I will see you again tomorrow. So everyone, have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone.